Hello! Welcome back, everybody. We are playing more Game of the Gods. More God of War trilogy, and we are still in God of War 2. As two episodes ago, we were taken down by Icarus into Atlas's headquarters, or whatever you want to call it. And then we managed to escape with the help of Atlas himself. He gave us a nice little power, the Atlas's Quake. And now we are on the Palace of the Fates, making our way to find the Sisters of Fate. Hell yeah. So, first reaction when we get here, how do we get in? Hmm. Free treasure chest on the left, magic chest on the right, and one switch. So obviously you have to hit the switch. And I'm guessing, yes, we're gonna come across a crap ton of enemies, as expected. Now, luckily, pretty. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. That's what I was afraid of. And this guy will not throw stuff from me from far away. It's not acceptable. So, we'll just go into our Rage of the Titans here, which we probably don't or shouldn't use right now. But as far as I can remember, there's no immediate boss coming up, so why the hell not? You know what I mean? crap ton of enemies they like throwing at you at this point, so you figure you have nothing to lose. Die! Ah. This guy is funny. Funny. Dead. Ah. I am not happy. Not happy right now. Die, 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 die. And that's it. We took out all those enemies. A little challenging. Our uh, Rage of the Titans wore out, unfortunately, but we did it with a minimum beating. Didn't even have to use any of Atlas's Quake or anything like that. Okay, so how do we open this door? Pretty simple. Drag. Gotta drag it open, just like God of War 1 when we uh, entered Pandora's Temple. You might remember very well that um, there was a stupid rotating thing that they threw in there just to buy God knows how much time. And it takes a little while, but you gotta rotate it three or four times and eventually you'll find the opening. One more time should do it. Yep. And there you have it. We have opened the Palace of the Fates. You can only you can only hope to delay Kratos. You can't hope to prevent him from reaching you, Sisters of Faith. So you see all these red orbs and treasure chests around. Well, you can't get to them yet. So obviously, the only thing we can do is push the switch, which releases all kinds of hell. And you have access to the treasure chest, however, if I are you, don't worry about the treasure chest. We don't have to... Oh. Something we don't have to worry about at this very instant. Ah! Crap! Crap! Stupid bees and whatnot. So all you have to do is just wait here and keep on waiting until until the switch comes all the way. Oh my god. Good lord, lady. Come on. Bats just keep on coming. They don't know when to give up. It takes forever to spin around. Come on. Today? There you go. So what you do, folks, is you just grab this huge giant boulder and pull it out. 
And we're done. And we all magically opened the door. And the stupid room stopped spinning. The spikes stopped coming out. And we're good. Simple enough. Just takes forever. The only problem is it takes God knows how long for the stupid uh, right door, that door to open. Anyways, you want to make sure you grab all the orbs. There's plenty of them here. And there's also a very important item we need. Acquired a crank handle. We will need that, guaranteed. Grab some more orbs. Why not? The one thing about easy mode, which I have it on, is they are very, very generous with the orbs. We should master every single item we have in the game. I'd be surprised if we didn't. Now over here, you can't go through there yet, so we have to head left. More health, as if we needed it. So quiet. You know what that means? Something is up. Yeah, you guys go ahead and fight. We'll take care of you later. So, this takes us here. One of the parts from God of War 2 I remember the most. I'll answer that later. It's beautiful, isn't it? There's a carving of Boreas, the god of north winds. Now, there's a ton of ways to go here. Um, obviously, that's locked. Can't get there. Sorry, let me rephrase that. There isn't a ton of ways. There's only one way to go. However, there's a ton of locked doors. The warrior skull, we don't have that. Um, if you step on this switch, you unlock that, but that doesn't do anything right now. And if you pull on this lever, spinny spin, that does nothing right now either. So, really, the key of the ram, really, there's only one way you can go, and that's up the ladder. Place the handle on the crank. That's the handle we just got. And now we spin and spin and spin around and around and around. Keep on spinning. Basically what we're doing here is we're just uh, putting out those flames as you can see. However, if we let go, as soon as we go let, let go of the lever, we're going to want to slow time. And the reason for that is because the fire will come alive. Yay. More red orbs. More red orbs! Delicious! One thing I found kind of odd is you have to slow time to stop the fire from coming out. But for some reason, after you're done crossing the bridge, which I'm just baffled by, um, the fire never comes back. I can't figure it out. Anyway, safe point here. We're not going to use it yet because we're only nine minutes into the video. So, here's a tricky little puzzle. You'll notice that you have the wings here. However, what's it for? Well, here's the puzzle solution. If you press the switch, you'll notice that that gate opens like halfway. And what you gotta do is hurry up across the gate just like that. And now we are trapped. We cannot get out. Tricky, tricky. Kratos, because of you, we can't fight all these little dog monsters, thank you! Easy enough. More pathetic guys? Oh, please. <laughs> That's it. Okay, moving on. As I said before, folks, you can only hope to prevent, to delay Kratos. You can't hope to stop him. Ooh, interesting little room. And yes, folks, this isn't a blind Let's Play. Someone asked that, my, uh, left that comment for me, asking if it was blind. It's not blind. I just, I don't know. I have a habit every time I Let's Play of once in a while. Come on, come down. 
For some reason, I have a habit when I let's play. Ooh, I just destroyed all their work. Whatever. Of, uh... Talking like I haven't let's played it before, even though I have. So it's, it's kind of a strange habit, but I don't know. i just grown used to it. Anyways, this big giant boulder, what you gotta do with it is... You gotta drag it literally all the way across. And we'll be back to that in a second. If you read this, it says... It is written in a language that you cannot read. So we cannot read it. Okay. So I'm about to show you how you read it. Kick the boulder all the way across. Keep kicking it. There you go. And you'll notice there's a guy standing here on the switch. Well... Leave me be! We pick him up, and the reason we need this block is so that this door doesn't close when we take him out, because the door would have automatically closed. And now we gotta protect the translator! So this is the guy who's gonna translate the book for us. And uh, a little odd segment in the game, but technically speaking, we have to make sure nobody reaches them, and that's pretty much it. But it's easy, we're doing it on easy mode, so there's nothing like complicated or anything about it. Another stupid dog, really. Get away from him. Come on! Ah! You got some translating to do, bud. Translating to do, bud. Just like that. God, I love that spell. Oh, more? You're gonna die! There you go. See, I'll protect you. You're safe in Kratos' arms. He's not gonna hurt you. Got this. Oh no! I cannot read the words while they attack! Well, and then make sure they don't attack! Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta protect you. My bad. Pretty easy part. Wait, what do you gotta do, folks, here is... You gotta take out the stupid magician guys. They're the ones that keep resummoning the enemies. Kill them all. And leave no mercy whatsoever. Die! Die, 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 die! There you go. I... I have forgotten the words! The hell you have! You're gonna read that book! And you're gonna like it! Now read the damn thing. Read it. Hear me, sisters who control the threads! Keep going. Ooh, we're torturing him. Searches for what only the sisters may give. Read it. As proof that he is worthy. No, please, no. I cannot do it. <laughs> you will. You will do it. Read. Accept this sacrifice of my blood. Bye. Sorry, folks. It had to be done. I know it's brutal, but it's the only way for Kratos to reach the sisters. I'm sorry. Blood. Oh my god, look at all that blood. Holy crap. There ain't no way. There ain't no 
way that guy has that much blood in him. Look at that. There ain't no way he has that much blood in his body. Damn. Well done, Maria. With this sacrifice, you have proven your resolve to seek out the sisters of fate. However, this is but a small step in your quest to gain an audience with us. A small step? Would you guys stop playing games with me? As I said before, you know Kratos, okay? By now, you should know that Kratos is uh, gonna reach the sister, so why do they keep delaying the inevitable? Look at that. Well, I guess no one could ever read that book again. Oh well, we tried. We've acquired the key of the ram, and we know what to do with that, folks, right? Head back to that central area that we just I introduced you to a few minutes ago. And, um, we basically open up that door that we need the key of the ram to get into. Silly gates. Why do they put gates impeding Kratos' path? That's just silly. So, if you follow this along, you're going to notice it's going to take you right back. An alternate route, but it's going to take you basically back to where we're at. But, that is all the time we have for this episode of Let's Play God of War Trilogy. We'll see you guys next time for some more action. Peace out.